How's it, guys? I'm Aureus Haynes, and welcome to my Survivor set. Well, sort of. I don't have a Nico. I don't have a fancy dragon coming from the Tribal Council. But what I do have is a common little glass dog that I borrowed from Kuma's house. Can we change the music? I'm a 32-year-old husband and father of a one and a half year old from a little town called Kurgisdorp in the heart of Gauteng on the West Rand. I work in an ad agency as an account director. What do I love about my job? The fact that not one day is the same. And the fact that I've got the coolest colleagues in the world. And so Janice, Janice. I just want to give a big shout out. It's, a, it's a birth no, no, Oh, nothing. I thought you were like going off my dress. <laughs> it's your birthday. So if there's one thing that I must take with to the island, what would it be? I personally think a wooden spoon because you're always stirring shit. Dressing the islands. No, so no, but no, the lighting, the lighting. The lighting? Yes, lighting is good, yeah. Okay. Yes. So, okay. Nkati, <laughs> why must the producers choose me to be a survivor? Because you've got no filter. No filter? You have no filter and you're savage. You're savage. <laughs> but you're amazing. And I'm a survivor super fan. I have to show you guys something. Way in the distance, the season 5 contestant Zavion Cox's wedding day in the middle. Is that creepy that I know it? Stalker match. Okay, I admit it, it's creepy. I brought you right to the gate. Who's my favorite survivor from all times? Well, it's not JT that played the perfect game. The year was 2000, I was in grade 8. And this man's game plan stayed with me my whole life. Well, none other than Mr. Richard H himself. The one that manipulated his way right through all the way to the top, season 1. What can I tell you guys that I didn't write in my Tell me more about yourself essay question Except for the fact that I survived man I try to do my bit for people that are less fortunate than me I can lie with a straight face I love pain What's this? What? <laughs> <laughs> I can make fire, get up the two sticks quickly until you see something like a fire go. I love food and cooking. I definitely do not look like this from playing golf. I love showing people not too long. I'm good at finding shelter. I'm even good at teaching people how to swim. A little secret about me, Jake has got me into gardening. My wife and my daughter means the world to me. If people challenge me how to do a vaudeville, <laughs> I love challenges and I love eating things. <laughs> I will endure and hold on right to the very end. I'm super curious. I'm an extrovert. I'm fun. I'm confident. I love strategies. So in Monopoly, my favorite two little icons to play with is the shoe to kick ass and the little dog because he's the underdog. I can build puzzles. I'm physically fit. I can swim. What more do you need? Please can we just change the music? I can win the title of Soul Survivor and One Million Rand by using a particular set of skills. Breathing stretcher on the island. Trusting no one. Just being myself. Well, why am I applying for Survivor? Well, simply, I want to push myself. I love the way this game strips you of everything. It strips you of comfort, sleep, food, toothbrushes. Some people like Richard, it even strips you of your clothing. I am super competitive, even with board games with my wife. 
I can race and I can do obstacle courses. Just need to work a bit on the tan, white arms, his legs, check them out in there. You can do some medical. Doesn't help if you've got big feet. Men with big feet wears big shoes. Famous Valencia. It's danger for hours. Hours. I'm a lean, mean gymming machine. You see, lying with a straight face. Food. Some more food. Some news. A cup of strong morning coffee. My sanity sticks. Some social media. I love to travel. And I even got myself a new passport. Survivor start. Give me a call. I'm ready to leave whenever you guys are.